We just... Ah, oh, fuck. Running out of memory. Well... Fuck. I don't want to make a fucking part two of this shit, but... You know what? Fuck it. I, I just make a part two. I hate making two-part videos, but... That's what happens when you shoot on a fucking cell phone. But... You know, you don't really get those intellectual conversations anymore. You know? Uh, so it's just, it's just, uh, it's, I don't know. It's just different. You know? I, uh, <laughs> and, you know, sometimes I think, like, how do some of these motherfuckers come out and do this job their entire life? And the only thing that I can think of is, which would make sense to me, is that uh, a lot of these guys that are out here that are, that are older, that have been doing this a while, they're not staying out here two to three months at a time. At least the majority, vast majority of them are not. A lot, like, and I know this because, like, 95% of the, fuck, 99% of, like, the old-timer, kind of older truck drivers that have been around for a while... And they they're kind of they got into a company that they really like driving for, or they're an owner operator, and they kind of got their situation like the way they want it. I'll tell them they're like, "You going home next week, or how long you stay out for?" I'm like, two, three months at a time, and they always tell me the same shit. They're like, "Whoa, fuck that! I could not do that," you know, because these guys, you know, even if they've been driving like 20 years or something like that, they're going home every weekend. I've talked to owner operators that they had their trip set up to where like they'll go out and pick something up and then they'll come back and stay at the house, then go deliver and pick that up and then come back and stay at the house and then keep on going. They'll bounce in and out of the house. So they're they're sleeping at the house two, three nights a week plus weekends or whatever the fuck they've got worked out. You know, maybe that's they maybe that's how they do this job this that this long because I don't know. It, it, staying out for two to three months at a time and just living in the truck, you know, and I don't know. Not you know. It's I don't really have all that many people at home that I talk to. You know, I'll hang out with them when I go home, but I don't really talk to them that on the phone that often. They got their lives and shit like that. So it's you know it, you're just kind of in this bubble. You know, like I'm single and shit. So if you're single. You know, you don't have some chick calling you every fucking day, which used to really bug the fuck out of me, is, is having to talk to a girl every goddamn day. You know, I got nothing new to say and shit like that, but at the same time, <clears throat> you know, when you go two weeks without even talking to anybody on the phone, fuck, I've probably gone a month straight without talking to another human being on the fucking phone. Or maybe, like, hardly talking to a human being at all. Maybe just shippers and receivers and shit like that. You know, it, it wears on you. You know, that, that, just that lack of human contact. You know, you, you, I don't know. You start to kind of feel like, like a fucking robot after a while. You know, it's just the same fucking routine. Day in and day out and day in and day out and shit. And of course, you know, I have my modes of escapism. I rent movies off the Xbox. You know. I watch watch all the Band of Brothers or something like that. I've got my Xbox. I've, I've got a, a whole library. I got a whole drawer of games. And I'll play games and shit. You know, I watch YouTube and you know I got Vudu and I got Netflix and all this shit. YouTube. <clears throat> you know, I got all my modes of escapism, but you know that only goes so far. At the end of the day, you know, you're just thinking about things. Just I don't know, laying in bed and you, you know you're not. You're not playing a game, you're not watching anything, you're not listening to anything. There's really nothing you need to think about or worry about. <clears throat> I don't know. Time starts to pass really, really fucking fast. Weeks fall off the foot. Like last year, 2016, for me, I, I was 26 last year. And that year went by in the blink of a fucking eye. Like, uh, like, I have, like, almost no, like, action, like, <laughs> I have almost no significant memories from 2016. 
because all of it is just one big blur of me driving a truck. You know, I if I really focus, I could think about the handful of times that I went home. You know, and I could focus in on those memories. But other than that, you know, 2016 just like flew by like that. You know. You know, and I'm not trying to complain here. You know, this is all it means to an end. You know, I basically gave away my 26th year to trucking. You know, I, I didn't I didn't do anything but drive a fucking truck. I didn't do a goddamn thing. I didn't meet anyone new. I didn't fix anything or build anything or create anything or... I didn't change anything. I didn't do... I didn't do fucking anything except for uh, drive this truck in my 26th year. And my 27th, this year, my 27th year of life, <laughs> it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be nothing but me driving this fucking truck. You know, there's, there's probably not going to be any more significance to it than that. You know, and I'm not trying to make this sound depressing. You know, it's... Uh, you know, I, I understand the sacrifice that I'm making. I'm doing it for a specific goal. You know, and I'm, ho I'm I'm trying to reach for my financial goals. And if I could stay out here on the road, you know, I and not have rent and just live in the truck and do everything that I've talked about, I could reach those goals a lot faster. And the kind of the, the way I'm looking at it is the the quicker that I can reach these goals then the quicker I can go back to living a normal fucking life. You know, or some semblance of a normal fucking life. You know. Unless I just get I just get trapped and I, I never leave the fucking road. I'm just out here forever. Just making these goddamn videos, you know. You guys are like, man, this guy is still making these fucking videos. He's still out there driving that fucking truck, you know. Boy, I don't know. These are just things I think about, you know. <clears throat> Uh, it does sound depressing, but you know, it's, I don't really think about it that way. But like I said before, I'm also very good at compartmentalizing. You know, there, there are times where this job really does get me fucking down, you know, where, you know, over, just over the years, over my life, and especially doing this job, 100%, especially doing this job, like I've gotten so used to being by myself. It just, it's not a fucking thing to me anymore. I mean, fuck, if you want to get personal, uh, I, I've just, I've just got, I've gotten used to being alone. I've gotten used to not getting laid anymore. It's been a long, I, fuck, I broke up with my girlfriend almost, almost a year and a half ago. <clears throat> I haven't been laid since, you know, you just, just get used to it. I've just gotten so fucking used to it. It's not a thing to me anymore. You know, and sometimes, like, shit like that, like the loneliness or whatever, sometimes that'll start to fucking bother me, but, you know, I just, just compartmentalize it. I think about it, and then I put it away, and then I move on to something else, you know? So, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm gonna end it there, because I've been waiting for my ramen to cool down, and it's probably getting cold by now. I've been sitting here talking to you fuckers, but, uh, eh. Just me rambling about bullshit. Um, I'm gonna make a, uh, I'm, I'm gonna make a video about uh, the the last settlement that I got and the settlement that that's coming up, and I'm gonna talk about uh, money and I'm gonna talk about numbers and shit like that. But uh, uh, I, I'm not gonna do it tonight. I need to sit down. I'm gonna have my notebook and I'm gonna go talk about you know money and things like that. So far. Uh, so I'll do that later. Maybe do it this weekend or something like that. But that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later.